the biggest uh, problem which we uh, understood in the Indian market was the services of the product lines. So every product can perform better if the services are provided in the right manner. So uh, where we created a differentiating factor uh, to have a service department where the company will be able to take care of the requirement of the projects, the services part of it. So that the end user will be always having the faith that the product is being tackled in the right manner by the uh, company itself. However, there are two important aspects what we have learnt in Asava uh, was that uh, there are two ways of tackling the failure. Failure is probably one of the outcome which was not successful. So what we have to understand is what probably went wrong and how we can improvise it immediately without creating a bigger issue and without and by developing a new product line because of which this failure can be eliminated. If that is done, every product can perform very well. So the important aspect is instead of understanding probably the failure, identify what could be the probable better solution which will help you to improvise on your product lines. And this is possible for every industry. We carry more than 300 employees, uh, which uh, initially was just six in year 2010. And then we gradually improvised uh, to the project cycles. And now currently we have a team strength of 300 guys. Uh, in terms of scale, we have definitely uh, now having footprints at least in India where we are covering uh, uh, the facilities at Mumbai, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Sri Lanka. These are the primary places where we as a Sava Inspiration are having our own facilities. But never worry about failures. Uh, in business, it's a, uh, I mean there is a saying that it's a 900 day cycle. So if you can survive in market for 900 days, you can definitely uh, probably start with a better journey. Uh, learn from the mistakes, improvise it, uh, 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 learn to say no if there is an issue uh, so that at least the name of the brand will always be intact rather than creating one more disaster in any industry.